Hi, for today's turn on, an item I have been watching on eBay for a long time, but it was uh, usually too expensive. And finally, I got one at a better price. And guess what? Yes, one more time, a tornado part. Here, the combined fuel indicator. It is called exactly the indicator fuel quantity uh, made by Kurt H. Weber Precisions Gear at Work, obviously in Germany. We have here an information lanyard removed, no loose article. I believe they talk about a lanyard to this uh, panel between here and here, maybe to not lose the panel. Big, heavily gold plated multi pin connector here. And on the front, a uh, fuel totalizer, fuel uh, flow meter apparently, with two needles of flag. Very nice feeling. Uh, test button and four buttons probably take off under fuselage under wing so for uh, droppable fuel tanks and wing main wing fuel tank I believe here we have a little panel that is called the adjustment access panel which will allow you to access to some Adjustments, actually uh, trim pots between uh, full and empty for uh, forward fuselage, rear fuselage, right and left uh, internal wing total and uh, total RR LF full between empty and full. Okay, you can see by the way the construction of this back piece, a solid piece of aluminium. So I am really interested, curious to find out what we have inside here. I hope it is not necessary to undo the button here on the front. Will it come? Yes. So actually I did already open it one time because we had this seal. Excuse me for the focus problem by the way. This seal, which was uh, stuck pretty hard in here. So what do we have? So, uh, I will first undo here at the back this piece. Actually, when I received the instrument, there was one of these screws which was loose inside the instrument. So they were lying when they were saying uh, no lose item. I am not sure why it was like so. We will have a better access to everything. But a really a nice uh, construction, obviously. I would like to access the middle PCB if possible. Good. Ah, sorry for this. Okay. So we will start from the back. Here on the back we have this super thick back piece, obviously. With all the wires going to the trim pots and the two connectors, they are going to this stack of three circuit boards with this word. Uh, contraption of uh, connector because it is a connector with a circuit board mounted on it and secured to the main board with two bolts. So probably quite uh, painful to undo, I guess. Interesting. We have on this board a lot of uh, not transistors, they are relays actually. Well, five of them. The famous uh, round Teledyne relays, some super nice high quality uh, precision resistors here. National Semiconductor AH0015D, 
Tash Mil. Raytheon, Transistors, or uh, op amps actually. On this other side, not too many stuff. Well, a lot of uh, capacitors, mainly. I will try to undo immediately this board in order to reveal what we have on the middle board. So it is, it seems, a number of screws to undo. And you know what? I will be annoyed. I will be annoyed because of this part. So it is not necessary for me to go any further because I will not be able to undo. It should require uh, taking apart everything in the top here, in the front. So we will try to guess what we have in the middle, but I do not want to take apart uh, the instrument so far. We have in the middle PCB uh, at least one transformer. Here you can guess here through this one. A whole bunch of trim pots and more uh, one toroidal transformer at least. Two of them maybe, even. Yes. And more of the same stuff here. So not much. But the most interesting part here will be uh, first the controls. You can see the buttons here, they are going to the, for the front panel. They are actually micro switches, very nice quality. Uh, pushed via this uh, stainless steel plate. And here in the cover, we have actually a brass rods connected to the buttons. So it was not necessary to undo anything on this top cover and really a nice feeling on these buttons. They are uh, clear uh, plastic with uh, backlight provision because actually, yes, here we have two super tiny backlight bulbs with gold contacts. So here, our main business side uh, indicator dial with the super nice mechanism behind it. Two Servo motor assemblies with what seem to be a, a clutch, something here, because we have wires going to it. Nice uh, gears everywhere. So, two of them, obviously, for the two. Yeah, it will not turn at all, so they are uh, secured by clutch. We have two of them, obviously. We have the little uh, flag here. Electromagnetic flight like this that will move if you have no uh, will, will move out of the way if you have power and will move back uh, in front of the indicator if you have no power it means you have a problem and we have a third device here I believe this one is for driving the actual digit counter here behind this clear uh, plastic piece here with more light bulbs. Okay, so this is a super cool uh, device. Really, really beautiful instrument. I am happy, I, at least I have one. It is not in the best condition for the paint, but I was really curious to see inside this one and uh, as they were quite expensive so far, I was not able to grab one. I do not remember how much I paid for this one. I believe it was 40 euros and usually they are 80 to 100 euros. So not cheap because maybe it is a potential display item to put on the desk or something like this. But there are plenty of them available. Okay, very nice gold contacts you can see. So uh, beautiful construction on this thing. So I will probably put it in display in my living room. Uh, it will be all, I guess, for this teardown. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.